is honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. In Hebrew, that would be the name of our Almighty Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakadash. Also, double honor to the elders and apostles, a great millstone for teaching us this truth. Honor to the brothers that's pushing this truth, risking their life and freedom to do so. And also honor to the hopeful elect, the one third of our people that's returning back to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, during these final moments so that he will have mercy on us in this time of judgment. Shalom, and we we'll back with another lesson through the power of the Holy Spirit. This lesson here, we're going to give an end of breakdown of how the Sabbath really works according to scripture because America and a Christianity will tell you that the Sabbath is a Sunday which is incorrect and most of our people when they come into this truth they believe that the Sabbath is a Saturday because it said the Lord rested on the seventh day but this calendar is inaccurate so Saturday is not the true seventh day the seventh day varies from month to month because of how the white man structured his calendar, which doesn't line up with the scriptures. But we're going to give an end of breakdown of how the Sabbath really works. And Christianity tell you that it's Sunday. Sunday is not the seventh day. It's the first day of the week. And again, it ain't Saturday because it varies from month to month when you're using a white man's calendar. So to understand how the Sabbath works, you gotta understand how a day is structured. So we're gonna hit Genesis 1 and 3. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from darkness. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So yeah, in creation, Verse 2, the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So, in creation, darkness came before the light. That's why it reads, in the evening and the morning were the first day. So, in the structure of a day, a day doesn't begin at sunrise or 6 in the morning. It doesn't begin at midnight. It begins at evening because again darkness came before the light so the evening comes before the morning <clears throat> and also for the people who want to get, get technical it says that a new day begins at midnight that's correct incorrect too because midnight is in the middle of the night cycle you can't start a new day in the middle of a cycle you got the night cycle and the day cycle so either a new day starts at the beginning of night or in the beginning of the morning and according to the scripture the new day starts in the evening when darkness begins to settle on the earth when the sun goes down that marks the start of a new day and that's how a day is structured it begins with the evening goes into the midnight and overnight hours. Then you got sunrise in the morning. Then you got the noon in the afternoon. Then as the sun begins to set again, going into the evening, you know, the evening will be the new day. So the day ends once the sun goes down. <clears throat> so that's how the day is structured. And we got to also understand how the months really work. <clears throat> because the white man is on his own calendar and how he structures the weeks and the months doesn't line up with the cycles that the Lord created in the earth because how we determine the months and the days in the ancient world is according to the lunar cycle that's why the Lord said let the moon be a declaration of times and seasons so the moon is positioned in the sky and its appearance would be a declaration of what time we in 
what 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 part of the month are we in is it the end of a month the beginning of a month it would be a declaration of times and seasons <clears throat> so i got a calendar of all the new moons for 2022 so we're gonna start with january so the word month comes from the word moon so new moon equals a new month and america and the white man they don't base the beginning of a month at the new moon they base their new month on the first day of a new month but that first day or that new month most of the time don't line up with the new moon because again new moon equals new month so when there's a new moon in the sky that signifies that that's the beginning of the new month and the new moon is when the moon is completely black you don't see it the opposite of a full moon so going back to january according to the white man january began january 1st but according to the lunar cycle january actually began january 2nd when there was a new moon or no moon in the sky and let's take the month of july for example what was supposed to be july didn't start july 1st july actually started three days prior on june 28th because july 1st wasn't a new moon but june 28th was a new moon and i'm gonna pull up a calendar we're gonna look at last month's new moon and Sabbaths. So Friday to Saturday. And we got to read it like this Friday evening to Saturday evening because Esau screwed up the calendar. Because how his days works is midnight to midnight. But actually, it's evening to evening. So Friday evening, the 26th. Once the sun goes down, it will technically be the 27th. Because again, the 27th doesn't actually begin at midnight in the middle of the nighttime cycle. The 27th will begin sundown on the 26th. Or the evening of the 26th will actually already be the 27th. So that would make the 27th the new moon again because you got to start on the 26th so you take the first day or you take the beginning of the new moon and you count seven days after one two three four five six seven so that would make the new moon the 27th and that would make each seven day period the sabbath so 26th, 27th, that would be a Sabbath. September 2nd and 3rd would be another Sabbath. September 9th and 10th would be another Sabbath. September 16th to the 17th would be another Sabbath. And these Sabbaths and new moons, again, is structured from evening to evening. So every Friday evening to Saturday evening for the next four weeks, one, two, three four and again the new moon symbolizes a new month and the month has four cycles what we call weeks which are seven days which match up with the cycle of the lord's creation when he created everything in six days but rested on the seventh day so that first day will be the beginning of the cycle and that first day the beginning of the, of the cycle is represented by the new moon that represents the beginning the start of a new cycle so if you take the new moon which again is the start of a new cycle and you count seven days one two three four five six seven this represents one cycle which will be your first sabbath then another seven days you got another sabbath another seven days you got another Sabbath all coming every seven days after that new moon. And then this goes on every week until the next new moon. 
So starting back from August 26th, going up to the 27th, counting seven day cycles, one, two, three, four. The last Sabbath for this month will actually be this weekend, Friday the 23rd at evening to Saturday the 24th at evening. See, Friday evening to Saturday evening. And this will represent, you know, that last Sabbath. But when you look at the new, new moon that we're coming in into, it begins on Sunday and flows into the 27th. See, Sunday evening to Monday evening. 25th would be a Sunday, 26th would be a Monday. And again, it's evening to evening because Esau structured his days from midnight to midnight. So midnight ain't the start of a new day. It's more like that 8.30, 9 o'clock represents the start of a new day because once the sun sets, that means the daytime is over. And then as the moon begins to rise and, it's, and it darkens outside, that's the beginning of a new day. Because remember, in the evening and the morning were the first day. And just another scripture to get real quick. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his works, which he had made. Because again, the seventh day ain't Saturday. So, for example, going back into our new Sabbath day we coming into, which would be Sunday the 25th going into Monday the 26th, this represents the first day of creation, the beginning of a new cycle. New moon equals new month. Then you count seven days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you get October 2nd. So in this instance here, that would make, you know, um, Every day, every seven days after the 25th, that would be your seventh day. So for the new moon, the new month we're coming into, the seventh day would be every Sunday. But if we go to the previous month, because remember, the new moon started August 26th, and you count it every seven days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the seventh day after the new moon occurred, every Friday. So again, the Sabbath varies according to the new moon. Then for the new moon or new month we coming into, Sunday to Monday evening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So October 2nd, Sunday at sundown, that's when the new moon starts. That's when the new day starts. That's why I got all the Sabbaths that's occurring after this new moon. So the new moon is a Sabbath. So we keep that day holy. And then that evening to evening cycle from the 2nd to the 3rd, the 9th to the 10th, 16th to the 17th, the 23rd to the 24th. So we take September 25th. And we count every seven days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, October 2nd, got that. And every seven days, the 9th, we got that. The 16th, we got that. The 23rd, we got that. And then immediately after the end of this Sabbath, the next day, we go into another new moon. So the next new moon, I, be, I believe, yeah, the next new moon would immediately um, be the 24th. So it would be Monday evening to Tuesday evening. That would be the new moon or the beginning of the new month. And then you count seven days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, then that will make Tuesday the seventh day of the week, seven days 
after the new moon. The new moon representing the beginning of that cycle, the first day of creation, and then seven days after that new moon would be your seventh day of rest. And then it would be every seven days until the next new moon. Another scripture we want to get, Colossians 2 and 16, let no man therefore judge you and me or in drink or in respect of a holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days. So yeah, this scripture here has holy day, new moon, and Sabbaths in the same sentence. Which would be the holy days we're supposed to keep. And then again, the new moon represents the new month, the beginning of that cycle. Then every seven days after the new moon would be a Sabbath. Seven days after the new moon being your day of rest. With the new moon being the beginning of that cycle each month. Then you got your four seven day cycles every month, seven days after the new moon. So just reviewing this coming month's new moon in respect to this last Sabbath, you know, with the last new moon occurring, the 26th, we count every seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from the 26th, 27th, second to the third, September 9th to the 10th, 16th to the 17th, and then tomorrow at evening, Friday evening to Saturday evening, 23rd to the 24th. And then we got our next new moon from Sunday to Monday. That's the beginning of that new cycle, that first day of creation. And then every seven days after the 25th will be our Sabbaths. So September 25th to the 26th, and then we count seven days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. October 2nd to the 3rd, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. October 9th to the 10th, then from the 16th to the 17th, then the 23rd to the 24th. So we begin the month with a new moon, and that new moon will be, um, you know, it represents the beginning of a cycle. And then every seventh day from that new moon is a Sabbath. And Colossians 2 and 16, we got holy day, new moon, and Sabbath all in the same sentence. Just to simplify it, you know, trying to remember the specific days for the new moons and the Sabbaths, just focus on the day of the new moon. Because whatever day that the new moon is on, the Sabbath is going to be on the same day. So the new moon would be September 25th on the Sunday. That means the Sabbath would be every Sunday until the next new moon. So just focus on the new moon and then the Sabbath is going to be seven days after. You're going to have four Sabbaths every new moon until the next new moon. And you can look at your lunar calendar on Google, simple Google search. Because, for example, if the new moon is on a Wednesday, the Sabbath is going to be every Wednesday until the next new moon. And if the new moon is on a Friday, the Sabbath is going to be every Friday until the next new moon. So just focus on the day of the new moon. Sabbath is every seven days for four weeks. So, pray that was edifying. I'm going to update us monthly on the new moons and the Sabbaths for that month. But until next time, Shalom.